What's going on? I'm David Alsu from Wisdom Square, and today I want to cover the three categories of herbs that are going to help you boost your immune system. Now, none of this is going to be sponsored. This is just what I personally have been doing for years now to keep myself from getting sick. So let's get right into it. First up is going to be iron, which is actually better than vitamin C from keeping you getting sick. And that's a whole separate video to cover why. But just know that I've tried a ton of fruits that are high in vitamin C and a ton of herbs and vegetables that are high in iron. And by far, I've definitely noticed a big difference with herbs high in iron doing a better job keeping me from getting sick. The reason is because iron is a magnet for oxygen, which brings more into our blood and releases carbon dioxide, which in turn helps our immune system. The herb highest in iron is sauce aspirilla root. This herb has a great taste which is in the original recipe for root beer. In fact, if you put this herb in water, you'll see bubbles form around it as it pulls oxygen towards it. That's what originally gave root beer its foam, in fact. Equally high in iron is guaco. Unfortunately, this is only available as a tincture. It doesn't have the best taste, so I use this to make powder and put it into a capsule. Other herbs high in iron include burdock root and salsify. Just look how deep down into the soil burdock grows. It's amazing. Since the roots are in direct contact with the soil, that's why they're so high in iron. Both are great in stir fry or in soup stock to replace hybrid carrots that many people have a food sensitivity towards. Now, if you really wanna go all out, and why wouldn't you, then there's also elderflower, yellow dock root, bugleweed, century, and right before going to bed, take valerian root to help you sleep. Another herb is Lily of the Valley, which is the perfect segue into the next category, detoxing herbs. That's because it's high in iron and great at cleaning out the kidneys. Because of this, only take it sparingly, maybe for two weeks straight, then take a break from it. Continue to check in with your body to know what's right for you since everyone is going to be different. Another powerful herb for the kidneys is blessed thistle. And the best for cleaning out the colon is cassia or bitter bark. There's of course a lot more herbs that fall into this category, but at least with these two, you're pretty much covered. Taking these together every now and then are great even if you eat healthy, but if you haven't been eating the best lately, then this is a great way to reset your body. I've noticed that benefits are pretty similar to fasting without having to actually fast. Though I would still recommend fasting, whether it's just skipping breakfast or going the whole day just drinking water and taking herbs to curb your hunger and keep your energy high. The last category includes herbs that are great for the respiratory system. By far the best herb I've discovered for the lungs is mullein leaf. This herb blew my mind the first time I took it. You see, I grew up with asthma and just taking one dose of this opens up my lungs as if I was taking my old asthma inhaler from when I was a child. It's incredible. And the best herb for when you have a dry cough is marshmallow root. Just look at the difference between the two and you'll see why this helps the throat. So now that's it. I truly hope you pick some of this up. I'm not sponsored again to say any of this, it's just what I've been personally using. Now, with the coronavirus going around, I'm pretty sure everyone could use a boost to their immune system, and now's a better time as any to get right into it. So if you learned something useful today, you know what to do. Thank you, and stay safe.